Here's one. And there's another one. Lucky you were here. The whole place could have burned to the ground. I'll tell you one thing. I was really scared. Did you call the sheriff? Yes, I called the sheriff, and they said it was a case for the arson squad, and they'd have the arson squad people call me. Did they? No, they did not, and I've tried them four times since then, and each time I call, they just say they're out on a case, and they'll call me back. Far for the course. I don't know, Muriel. I've been thinking the way, uh, the way things are going. Jimmy, can we move? What? I know we've only been here four and a half months, but can we move? I won't be intimidated by a handful of destructive, spoiled brats. Oh, there are plenty of nice communities where we'd have normal police protection and... You any idea what those kids will do if we cave in now? Well, will it be as bad, do you think, as what they'll do if we just stay here? I won't be run off. Play a bunch of punks. This is our home. It's ours. I'm sorry, honey. What I was going to say was I'd feel a whole lot easier if um, you weren't here alone by yourself. Every day. And until the trial's over and done with, I think it'd be okay if we gave Thelma a call and ask her if she couldn't stay with it. Well, that's a lot to ask. She's not a young woman. And... Well, it's just a phone call. Where she can do say no. Those boys just went by again. Yeah, well, you just let them start something funny. God bless you, Thelma. This thing didn't go through your window. Well, Deputy, my, my final question to you this morning is, what do we do about it? What can we do? It just seems to go on and on, and nobody can stop them. Not the Sheriff's Department, not the Highway Patrol, not the arson squad. Did you see the boys? Nope. They were in the car. Did you get a good look at the car? It was dark. I'll tell you what I'll do. 
There's not much that I can do officially, but I'm alone now. My two uh, sons are grown and off on their own, and my wife's been dead for a year or so, and I'll be very glad to put in some off-duty time to try to help you to nab these punks. Well, uh, Sheriff, Deputy Tadoff, you are a scholar and a gentleman. There's only one thing I ask which will help me. That is that there be somebody in the house at all times, either yourself, your wife, or your housekeeper, just so there's a, a grown adult in there that can make a positive identification if these kids come back. Yes, sir. You got a deal. Thank you. But the real irony of the situation is that the only meaningful help we're getting is totally unofficial. Would you get that, honey? Hello? <laughs> what? Jimmy! Can you pick up the phone? Who is this? Dog doctor. That? Next time we'll blow up your whole house. My God, what did they make of those kids? What did he say to you? Well, you heard them. What did that boy say to you, Muriel? Oh, Jimmy, it doesn't matter. It was an obscene phone call, wasn't it? It was. Okay, that's it. Where are you going? I'm going to go see Vance Chandler's father. What are you doing? Well, I'll talk to him, Jimmy. I'll, I'll go talk to him, Jimmy. I'll talk. Muriel, you're too damn soft. Call the FBI, let him make a report. I'm sick of it. I've had enough. Jimmy, please, I'll talk to him. Oh! Yes. Mr. Chandler? Mr. Chandler, I need to talk to you. Mr. Chandler, could you turn that off for a minute? Mr. Chandler, if you won't deal with me, you'll have to deal with my husband, and I promise you, you won't like it. I like it. Fine. Ask him to come on over. Mr. Chandler, I'm just trying to keep somebody from getting hurt. Yeah, I know who it is, too. Well, it will most likely be your son because I just got an obscene phone call from him. Now, how do you know it was Vance? Because I recognize his style by now. I'll have a talk with him when he comes home. Well, I think you better do more than just talk to him. I think you better put a stop to the things he's been doing before somebody gets badly hurt. Did you know that those boys put a bomb in our mailbox last night? Well, what do you expect? Expect? Now listen, you. You go back home there and you talk to that husband of yours. You tell that self-righteous phony baloney that if he doesn't get off my son's back and stop bothering my family, he'll get just what's coming to him. Why don't you tell me yourself, Chandler? Yeah. Except for being dumb. It doesn't solve anything. Uh, uh. 